In today's video, we're taking a look at the murky history of the Great Dane. For starters, the Great Dane isn't even Danish, and there are records going back to the Egyptians, Romans, and even BC era in China. There's a lot of gaps in the history of the breed, so let's see if we can fill in some of these missing pieces. Welcome back to the Femria Great Dane Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemriaCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the incredible Great Dane, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Great Dane companions. So if you love the Great Dane as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out why this noble breed was revitalized over a hundred years ago and how it shaped their temperament that we see and love today. So the ancestors of the Great Dane have a potentially far-reaching history. There have been records found in China dating back to 1200 BC of a dog with a description very similar to a Great Dane, as well as Egyptian and Roman records doing the same thing. These ancestors of the modern Great Dane gave rise to the boar hound that was developed and raised in Germany. Now this is the closest ancestor to those ancient dogs, though it's hard to say how much they have in common other than that large lean stature. Originally, Great Danes were bred and used in Germany to chase and capture or hold large game like wild boar, bear and deer. The modern ancestors for the Great Dane were developed in 16th century and were a crossbreed between the English Mastiff and Irish Wolfhounds. They did not have a formal breed name at the time, but were used to improve the existing boarhounds of Germany. Later, in the 18th century, the Sillet Dog and others imported from Greece were used to further increase the size of these boarhounds. Now, Great Danes have changed quite a bit from even their more recent ancestors and have had a myriad of names along the way. They have been called Boarhounds, Chamber Dogs, English Dogs, German Mastiffs, the German Boarhound, and then finally, the Great Dane. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high levels of success so some testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching and even though we know now that they're not from Denmark the name stuck and is obviously the one that we still use today now the boarhound used in hunting at the time had a temperament fitted for a dog that would chase down such large and ferocious game it was also common that they would be allowed into the bedrooms of notability as protection from assassins and were often outfitted with large ornate collars they were much more aggressive than the Danes we know and love today. It wasn't until the late 1800s when hunts like that were no longer really very common in Germany that fans of the breed began to breed a more docile temperament into the dog. The goal was to create a luxury dog as opposed to a savage working dog. Now, Danes are obviously huge, but they are also very sleek and graceful movers. They come in a variety of colours, but all coats are short and thin, and they do have long tails as well as proportional triangular ears that fold over. Their boar hunting ancestors typically had their ears cropped to prevent injury during hunts, and some modern day Danes have their ears cropped as well, more for cosmetic purposes. This is more frequent in the US since it is banned here in the UK, and with many other countries doing in the similar kind of bands. Yet it is completely undeniable that cropping the ears do give them a completely different and far more imposing and intimidating viewpoint, especially if you do want a, a large gentle breed like the modern day Great Dane, but that has a bit more intimidation factor if you want to just scare people off from bothering to try in the first place. Now, despite this breed's docile and gentle giant nature, they are fierce defenders of their home and family. Even in their big game hunting days, German nobility prized their loyalty and protective nature that they were brought into lavish bedchambers while other dogs stayed outside. 
Because of their protective nature and sheer size, they can and will handle any threat to their families. They are very gentle with smaller animals and children, but are prone to injury and clumsiness when they're young especially. So the Great Dane, who we now know isn't Danish at all, might just be one of the most recognisable breeds in the world and has a vicious history as a big game hunter with a temper to match. Now they've had many names and even more potential ancient ancestors dating back into BC times and have been a dog of legend the entire time. Now in more recent years they are sweet and gentle nature has become a hallmark quality of the breed as much as their sizes. Their lifespans are short, like many large and mastiff types breeds but while they are in your home they fill it with adorable antics and the world's best cuddles so i hope you enjoyed today's video and that quick breakdown of the fascinating interesting history of the great day and if you did enjoy it hit that like button and remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you are new here as we have two dedicated great dane videos coming to this channel every single week so i can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the fenrir great dane show